All right, Joe. Some of you guys know there's new rank changes coming to Apex next season, Apex Legends Season 17. I just want to kind of get into that a little bit. I'm going to just go over. I'm going to go over it together. I'm personally excited for it. And plus the Weapon Mastery, too. We're going to just go through the patch notes a little bit. I'm not sure how long the video is going to be, but we'll just, we'll just go. So pretty much a rank updates and arsenal have two main goals evolve the matchmaking to enable consistently competitive matches which would be good right because some matches are just not like not competitive or it's just you know you get just straight up demolished by a three stack you know and then and yourself you don't get like good teammates you know so hopefully this right here will be good Adjusting your scoring to further focus on playing a battle royale and playing as a team. This is a good one right here. Right here, guys. See this? Playing as a team. Right here. Look, I'm going to highlight this. Playing as a team. Playing as a team. I said that because Apex is a team-based game. And you got people that just load in, you know, and don't play as a team. Especially in rank. Pubs, it's not really just whatever. It's, it's only pubs. You know what I mean? If you're playing pubs, you're probably going to be kill grounding and stuff like that. But playing as a team is crucial in rank, so this is good. Key changes. New matchmaking by hidden matchmaking rating with skill adjustments for pre-made squad sizes to account for the competitive advantages gained. And again, we're all just talking about here. You know? So this is, again, good. That's good, you know? New scoring system that emphasizes winning the battle royale. That's 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 good too. New bonus system that conditionally rewards wins and compensates losses. That's 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 pretty good because you know there's there's time where all of us, I mean all of us, did a good match but we didn't, but we lost, right? We lost, but he still did good and he still did not get no rewards for it. So that's good right there. No more, no more split reset with the full seasonal reset standing off with 10 provisional games, which is, which is just pretty much just like arenas, right? Where you play five matches and you get put into, you know? So they're pretty much as... What arenas was, I think, personal, was... Uh, what is that? What fuck? I had that word in my head and I forgot. Whatever. It was just like a... What is that? A prototype, I guess you could say. Whatever. I'm not giving my words right now. Whatever, okay? So that's cool. I like that. That's cool, you know? Yeah. We'll, just, we'll go consistently competitive matches. So, like, yeah. I think I'll read. I'll read some of this. I'm not going to read all of it. I'm looking at a former matchmaking algorithm that matches players based on the current rank points. We noted that RP only had a strong correlation to players' actual skill at the high end of play. It had little no correlation at the lower tiers. For instance, a diamond platinum skill player, skill level player who misses a season of two of two of rank. See, this is me right here. See? I'll get the platinum. That I won't play, like, you know, like whatever. And then may come back to bronze lobby. See? And this right here. This is true right here. This is very true right here. I, I, I like what they're doing right here. Due to their absence. Yeah, because your game is effed. Effed. But they're working on it, you know, no hate. This man RP was not a true representation of a player's skill and rank matchmaking had to be revised. That's good right here. This little paragraph right here, yo, is like pretty much. That's how some of us are, you know, we'll play. We'll play for a long time, you know, get the diamond, platinum, whatever, maybe, and then come back to, you know, being in bronze, right? From Arsenal onward, we are enabling matchmaking and ranked based on hidden matchmaking make, rating. Interesting. Very confident that matchmaking based on MMR will be the right level of heat to your ranked experiences. Yeah, because, you know, sometimes Ryan doesn't even feel like it's competitive, you know. The new matchmaker does value match fairness more than it predecessors, whatever. So you may experience a small but noticeable increase in queue times. Which is good, though. You want that, right? Which means you're going to get good players and you're going to get good teammates, as in 
when you load up a match, you just you just get you know you don't the matchmaking isn't there or anything. You know you're just like that bang. You know as in pubs where it takes you know a couple minutes or so, it's because the matchmaking system. So that's pretty cool. I think I'm just gonna cover that right there. Yeah. So we're gonna go to the scoring system. We're introducing a new scoring system using ladder points. That's pretty cool, ladder points. And retiring ranked points. The two systems look and feel similar, but will be different under the hood. Ooh, what, what you got under the hood, boy? Just the new scoring system revolves around bonuses that amplify your LP. Life points. Life points. Just kidding. Gains and mitigate your life points. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say life points. Losses. This new system focuses around a battle royale. See so here, see? This right here. They want you to actually play the battle royale kind of, right? But as but making it competitive. The magnitude of these bonuses are directly tied to your placement results, which is good, because you, you can do good, you get high, you know, high kills, you get assists, but you may end up in like, you know, say eighth or like seventh, or whatever, and and you know you're minus, so that's good. That's good right here. So let's go to the elimination bonuses. Are given when your teammate eliminates other players. This bonus is individually calculated, and multiple eliminations against the same players are discarded. To be clear, we use your personal individual kills, assists, and participation. See, so you have to play as a team. That's what they're doing now. See, the participation right here. Guys, look at that. Participation, okay? In addition, the assist timer has been increased from 15 seconds to 30 seconds. Y'all didn't even know that, to be honest. <laughs> but that's good, though. That's good. Rating bonuses are given when your hidden MMR greatly outperforms your ladder points, helping you catch up to what the system believes you should be. See, that's good, you know, because there's times where, like, you know, I'm not saying I'm better than a person or anything because, you know, there's always someone better than you. It's just the way it is. always a bigger fish. Not bigger than me. Just kidding. But, yo. You you would do good, but you'll get bad teammates. And then in return, you know. Right here. So that that's good. Skill bonuses are given when your team interacts with a stronger op opponent or performs exceptionally in an unfavorable match. So again, so if you're like in freaking gold and then you fight a guy in probably platinum or like diamond or whatever it may be, you're gonna get a higher it's gonna be better. You're gonna get a better reward for it. Unfavorable match, see? So say if you can't res your teammates, say if both of your teammates are down, both of your teammates are down, right? And then you win the match, boom. You know, that's like, that's good. The bonus system introduces several complexities that will be hidden under the hood. This will allow the system to integrally reward you based on the difficulty of your match and pre-made squad size while filtering for abuse behaviors like kill farming, bonuses are directly tied to your in-game placement. So make sure you aim to survive and place as high as possible for the best return of bonuses. That's, yeah, that's good. Right here, see? Abusive behaviors. Teamers are talking about y'all. Y'all know who you are. Teaming up in freaking battle royale to be the best. But you probably just sit there and feet jerk. <clears throat> placement above all placement defines bonuses, gains, and loss medi mediations, mitigations, whatever. Mutation. One to ten bonuses, ten to twentieth. You may be wondering why ten is a special breakpoint in scoring. The key goal of a battle royale is to be the last squad standing. Placements are prioritized over eliminations. That's good. Last squad standing. Placing 10th or better is considered a win in the new scoring system. With that reasoning, the per match point adjustments are tuned to guarantee gains to the top half and losses to the bottom half. That's good. Interesting. That's interesting. I'll, 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 let's see how this works. 
As for entry costs, you'll be paying entry costs. I think it's 38, it's all 38. So here will always be the same. Previously, the higher scale and entry costs were necessary to filter out unskilled players from higher ranks, but put excessive pressure on focus on elimination. This effect caused the goals of rank to change throughout the tiers. That's good. We want everyone of all skill levels to have the same ranked experience. I understand this right here, yeah. You know, like, understandable. But how else are you going to get good if you don't play people against better than you? And I mean, when you, when you mess up, that's a big thing. That's when you will learn most. You want everyone's skill level to get I already read that with the same common goal in mind. Winning. This helps create a common team goal. See? Not everyone is like that though, right? You know? And helps players learn from each other. Which is good. Here, look here. See this? Helps players learn from each other. Boom. Right. Entry card 0 to 175. Total points. The flat 35 life points. Match entry cost is included in the table below. Value of each bonus will be adjusted based on match. Placement. Plus 14. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, see, 10th is good. Like, you know, that's where you want to be. But right here is not. But boom. Which is good. This is good right here. Right here. Yeah. And this, you will start your rank journey in Arsenal with 10 provisional matches. That's pretty much just like rank, like uh, arenas. But they added 10 instead, you know? And it's just like two, like Rogue Company. I think that's how Rogue is. I can't really remember. It's been a long time. But that's good right here. This is good right here. This is good right here. This is pretty much like, you know? The rank structure, overall rank structure, update, split, reset, remove. This is good right here. Division with a thousand life points per division. At the same time, we're simplifying the math at each tier by setting each division to be a thousand ladder points. And we're simplifying the new calculator called whatever. I have that up so bad. <laughs> I don't care. Of tier and points. Instead of saying representing it as bronze three. Bronze three with a minus in game. Okay. With the new tiers and division width, we are also revising demotion bonus and demotion. Rookie is not a rank that can be demoted into. Guys, that's the only badge I don't have. So you know what's up. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, that's funny. The most penalty half of division 150 can be demoted into a rookie. Rank reset will fully reset your progress back to zero based on your performance in your provincial matches and your hidden matchmaking. Your LP ranks will quickly recalibrate after the 10 provincial games. You'll also see your projected ranks throughout the provincial matches become increasingly accurate as you progress through them. That's pretty cool, man. I like this. The rank changes are freaking nice. Ranked arenas to all our ranked arena legends. We want to remind you to log in before the start of next season to redeem your role. Okay, I don't play. Okay, this is for y'all people that play ranked arenas. Log in, get your rewards for your hard work. Yeah, all went up, but we appreciate the community continue supporting feedback and can't wait to see what you think of the latest evolution to ranked. All right, guys, that's it. That's pretty much the whole new ranked change. I personally like it. <clears throat> I can't wait to grind rank again. I'm going to definitely be grinding it again. So, if you guys like this video, share it for me. Smash the like button. Let me know in the comment section what you are excited most for. If you play ranked or not. So, have a good day, y'all.